welcome we are following this book uh, just today we are going to discuss uh, prefer reversing entries so what is reversing entries uh, first time we discuss it it is often helpful to reverse some of the adjusting entries before recording the regular transactions of the next period that means uh, suppose this is the period of 2000 20 and 2021 and next period 2022 so this period uh, this period uh, this is the january january 1 january 1 just uh, uh, it will be made that means the reversing entry will be made if we have any reversing entry that times uh, the next year the next year that means uh, now 2021 and next year 20 and 22 <clears throat> next year when we start our transactions this transaction will be uh, opening transactions our companies make a reversing energy at the beginning of the next accounting period this is the beginning beginning of the uh, accounting period that means next year accounting period or is reversing entry is the exact opposite of the adjusting entries made in the previous period mm, previous period uh, just uh, uh, is reversing entry is exact opposite of the adjusting entry made in previous period or the use reversing entries doesn't change the amounts report in the financial statement okay. so we'll uh, discuss more about this matter uh, this is reversing entries example illustration to illustrate the optional use of reversing entries for accrued expenses we will use the salaries expense transactions for pioneer advertising uh, please look here in october october 26 initial salary entry so pioneer pays uh, pioneer pays 4000 of salaries and wages wages on between october 15 and october 26 for this uh, please look here um, uh, without reversing entries and with reversing entries so uh, salary, uh, salaries and wages expense debit and cash credit we have the same entry uh, now october 31 adjusting entry salaries and wages earned between october 29 and october 30 first are 1200 the company will pay this in november 9 payroll okay so here um, uh, this is earned but not paid uh, this month of october it will be paid in november so, so for for this transaction just uh, we should write down uh, here uh, salaries and wages expenses and salaries and wages payable and here uh, with uh, reversing entries the same entry and here november november 9 subsequent salary entry salaries and wages paid are 4000 of this amount 1200 applied to accrued salaries and wages payable and 2800 were earned between november 1 and november 9 for these transactions but everybody is clear uh, paid this 1200 here and uh, 2800 earned this period has been november 1 to november 9 that means uh, i make you clear again uh, this is the area salary of october 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 but in november nine we are paying this salary that means this 1200 and also uh, on to 9 november uh, another salary is 2800 800 we are paying this salary also we are paying 2800 and 1200 200 the total 4000 amount we are paying uh, on um, november 9 okay so this is the uh, salary uh this is closing entry closing entry is just uh, this 4000 and this 1200 total 5200 here same entry and here no reversing entry is made but here the reversing entry will be salaries and wages payable and salaries and wages expenses you know in the month of october we have um, unpaid salary month of october everybody knows we have unpaid uh, unpaid salary unpaid salary 1000 200 that means this is the payable salary and we are paying this salary uh, here that means this one uh, 
uh, this salary this 4000 that means here we are paying this salary here that means we are paying this salary here okay and that means this figure so here uh, reversing entry November 1 no reversing no reversing entry is made but here reversing entry will be this figure uh, salary and wages payable and salary and wages expense this is the vice versa entry of adjusting entries that means this is the uh, here salary and wages expense debit or here salary and wages expense credit and here salary and ex uh, wages payable debit but here salaries and wages payable debit but this is the uh, reverse reversing uh, reversing entry must be reversed with adjusting entries adjusting entry or reversing entry uh, adjusting entries the vice versa entry will be this one that means this will be the reverse entry okay this is the uh, difference the main difference here and subsequent salary uh, subsequent sub, uh, subsequent salary entry that means salaries in November 9, just we are paying this 12,000 and the uh, current 1 to 9 November 2,800, that's total 4,000. So, salary and expense, debit, or uh, cash, credit, okay. I think everybody is clear. Next slide. Uh, this is the reversing entry example. Uh, that means uh, posting with reversing entries. This is the ledger posting. So paid 4000 and adjusting 1200 total closing 5200 and this is paid amount and this is the reversing 1200 11 on and this is the salaries and wages expense are payable reversing 1200 adjusting 1200 the same amount so i think uh, everybody is clear and it's all at this moment so our next lecture on practice exercise we will discuss on practice exercise uh, i think everybody will join with me uh, thank you so much